You are looking at the book list view of iGigBook Sheet Music Manager. The book list view has all of the indexes that you would have set active using the content manager. Now each index entry has a thumbnail. Um, if you don't have a PDF linked to an index, that thumbnail will show PDF not present. So that if you select a thumbnail that says PDF not present, you will see on the right side that all of the composer names will be grayed out. And if you attempt to select an item, you'll get a message informing you of what PDF it's actually looking for. Now, if you have successfully linked a PDF to an index, you will see a thumbnail that represents the first page of that PDF. Um, let's take a look at the Creole Jazz Band Fake Book. And notice that in the right hand column, all of the composers are no longer grayed out. And what we can do is when we select an item, we'll see the actual song that's uh, represented by that title. Now, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to link a PDF to the Classic Real Book, the Classic Real Book Volume 2, and the Classic Real Book Volume 3. So what we do is we go to the My Scores view, and um, we've already filtered these results to show PDF files that have real book in the title. Just makes it easier to locate the items. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the classic real book. We're going to select link to index. And then we're going to select classic real book. And then what we're going to do is we're going to confirm and say yes, we want to link this PDF to the index. Notice that the, cha the, na the name of the PDF has been changed to crealbk1.pdf, which would be the same as the message that, we, uh, that appeared when the PDF is not linked to the index and we try to access it from the book list view. So if we go back to the book list view, we now see the thumbnail, which represents the first page of the PDF of the classic real book. If we select that and we select, say, Afro Blue, we now will get the sheet music for Afro Blue. Or if we say select Blue Monk, we'll get the sheet music for that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same process for the Classic Real Book Volume 2 and the Classic Real Book Volume 3. So we go back to the My Scores view. We press and hold Classic Real Volume 2. We select Link to Index. We select Classic Real Book Volume 2. We select Yes to confirm. And when we go back to the book list view, we see the thumbnail has been changed. And lastly, we'll do that for the Classic Real Book Volume 3. Press and hold the item. Select Link to Index. Select Classic Real Book Volume 3. Select Yes to confirm. Go back to the book list view, and the thumbnail appears. Okay, so now we've select, we've successfully have linked three PDFs to three different indexes. Now, what we want to do is we want to show you some of the um, other features of the book list view. At the top, we have four icons. The first icon is the sync icon, and what that does is when you go to the content manager and you activate indexes or deactivate indexes, you would need to follow up with a sync so that those changes can be reflected in your book list view. Now the next icon would be a wrench icon and when we select that we have a number of different iGigBook resources. We have a link to the content manager if you select that that'll take you to the content manager. We have a selection for the tech support forum you select that that will take you to the iGigBook tech support forum. If you select jazz chord charts 
that will take you to a site that has over 1,000 chord charts that you can transpose to any key, accessible by any browser, be it a tablet, a computer, etc. Additionally, we have an item for bonus material, and that would be the bonus material for the Classic Real Book, Real Book Volume 2, Classic Real Book Volume 3, the three indexes, the uh, those would be the PDFs for the three indexes that we that we link these PDFs to. And then lastly, we have something called MBB-T index request. And MBB-T refers to the new Bob book, a, a transposable version of the new Bob book. Okay, now the new Bob book um, is a PDF has over 666, well, it has not over 666, but has 666 songs that you can transpose both the chords and the melody. So if we go to this book and we go to Round Midnight, we come up in the default key of E flat minor. Now what we can do is we can transpose that down whole step to C sharp minor we can go and transpose it up from the default key to F minor. And then we can go back to the original key of G flat minor. All right. So that's a special book that you can transpose both the chords and the melody. So that represents pretty much all the features available. Uh, oh, almost forgot. The icon, the third icon, which looks like a person, this is where you would register or you would log in. And then the last icon would be the icon that allows you to contact technical support using email. Now, this will only work if you have set up email on your iPad. And so that covers all of the features of the book list view.